Hi there, my name is Isaac Oster, and in this tutorial I'm going to talk about different techniques around polypainting and fine detail texturing. So I'm just going to go and drag over to the red here, and what you'll notice is as I do that, the whole thing changes. And I'll show you what the stroke looks like. And you can see it's got this aliasing here on the edges, and that's because there's only a thousand polygons. So the way drag dot works is the size of the uh, um, the mark that you make is determined by the size of your brush stroke. I'm going to turn the sculpting off and the RGB on and maybe switch to different alpha, this one here. And I'm just sort of experimenting, there's no real... Just trying to throw some subtle variation here. So right now it's doing something with the color blending. So if I've turned color blend all the way up and then I change these colors, you can see I'm actually changing the RGB values here. So what I did is I made an alpha that perfectly matches the place where I want the, uh, the RGB to be white and where it's transparent, that alpha is black. So now with this stuff together, I can go ahead and draw out a pretty nice looking mom tattoo. So I've got UVs. What that means is I can go to my low poly state export a normal map and go to my high poly state and export the colors. So I'm just going to create a standard material and select the geometry, apply the material, and go to the maps section, go to diffuse color, that's going to be where we put our skin sphere d.psd into. So this is useful. Uh, I think going forward, the next things that I'll be talking about are uh, how to get nice renders out of ZBrush using uh, their best preview render, or BPR. And we'll be talking about how to tweak shadows and lights, and a couple settings within materials themselves to get kind of a nice subsurface scattering effect, uh, as well as transparency. So stick around.